oh man, it's just a pet friendly day today and I'm really excited about it because I love pets. And today we're talking about Halloween pet safety. As you know, Halloween, it's fun for the humans, but we wanna make sure it's also fun and safe for the pets as well too. So here to tell us more about that, I've got Brittany with me from Bradshaw Animal Shelter. Brittany, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, and you also brought Duke, which I'm just happy this cutie's here as well too. He's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of Halloween and pet safety, should pet owners consider taking their dogs with them while trick-or-treating, or what should we really be considering? So it, it depends. Some dogs are okay with crowds, costumes, noises, and if your dog is okay with that, um, they probably would be fine going trick-or-treating, but if your dog is scared of all of those things, it's probably best to leave them at home where they can be safe. Yeah, so it sounds like it's really important to know your pet's behavior to make that best judgment call. Definitely. Yeah. And then costumes for pets. I mean, Duke is working that lion's mane over there, his little, his little wig going on over there. But when considering um, costumes for your pets, what should we keep in mind? Safety is key, so making sure that the costume fits well, that there aren't little parts they could potentially chew off and choke on. Also, watching over your pet while they are dressed up to make sure that they're comfortable, they're not overheating. Um, and then just ensuring that if your pet, again, knowing your pet, if they're not going to be comfortable in a costume, maybe opt for a festive bandana or collar. Oh, I like that. I did. So last year I got a costume for my dog and it was like a mailman costume where she's carrying the box, but I could tell she was stumbling a little bit over it. So I knew, okay, maybe not the costume for her. But what do you think? Do you think Duke likes his costume? I think he does. <laughs> he, he's showing off the mane. Yes. It's simple enough. It's simple enough. Love your hairstyle there, Duke. <laughs> All right. So we know that pets have a knack for begging for human food with Halloween candy around? What do we need to keep in mind? Most Halloween, almost all actually Halloween candy is toxic for pets. So keeping um, candy out of reach of pets and also educating your trick-or-treaters, your little trick-or-treaters that uh, candy's for humans, not pets. We really don't want to be giving them chocolate, right? No, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> all right, so after speaking about candy, I mean, Hall Halloween decorations, they're really fun to us, but what do we need to keep in mind when it comes to our four-legged friends as well too? Yeah, definitely keeping your pets in mind when decorating, making sure you don't have anything that could be easily tipped over or broken like glass or candles. Also thinking about uh, spider webs, tinsels, string lights, those are, could be potential choking hazards for animals, so keeping those higher up where they can't get into them. Okay, that's good to point out, because again, we're looking at it for fun, but for, for our pets, they see everything and they almost want to touch and play with everything. They're so curious. <laughs> okay, so tell us about Bradshaw Animal Shelter and why viewers should consider a adopting maybe their next pet with through you guys. Yeah, Bradshaw Animal Shelter is dedicated to finding loving homes for pets. Um, and by adopting through us, you're not only giving these pets a second chance at life, um, but you're adding a companion into your life and you're reducing the amount of homeless animals in our community. And we have hundreds of pets with different personalities, sizes, looks. Um, our team is dedicated to finding the perfect pet for your home pets like Duke too, right? Definitely. Yeah, Duke is available and yeah. he would be a great addition to any home. Okay, good to know. And then also, what would you say are the benefits of adopting a pet? I think there's many benefits. Again, you're giving a pet a second chance at uh, a life. Mm -hmm. But also when you adopt from us, you're going to get a pet that is vaccinated, that's microchipped and that's spayed or neutered, mm -hmm. which makes adopting not only a responsible choice, uh, but an affordable choice as well. That's good to know. We love adopting pets. And then if someone wants to spend time maybe getting to know the pet before they adopt them, are there some options out there for them? Fostering is a great opportunity. Bradshaw has a wonderful foster program. Not only does it benefit the pet and gets them out of the shelter into an environment, it gives the family a chance to see if this pet is perfect for them, if it meets their lifestyle. And we have a wonderful program that's both flexible and rewarding for the pet and the foster family. Okay, a lot of options. And then you have an upcoming event. We lightly touched on it, but tell us about that event. Yes, we have our third annual Roy C. Markham Animal Care Fair. It's this Saturday at 11 a.m. We're gonna have over 40 vendors, food trucks, uh, raffle prizes, and it's not only a family-friendly event, it's a pet-friendly event. So if you bring your four-legged friend, bring him on a little six-foot leash, and then all adoptions that day are going to be uh, at a discounted rate. So it's just the perfect time to add a new family member. There we go. We've got everything. Brittany, thank you so much. Whitney, thanks for bringing Duke. Shout out to Duke as well, too. I'm going to let our viewers know where they can go for a little bit more information. You can get the latest by following Bradshaw Animal Shelter on Instagram.